Hi there, I'm Jim Coffey. I design and create automata. I'm in my studio in Escondido, California. It's the 3rd of June, 2020. And I'm here today to introduce you to surfer number one. Surfer number one is a challenge, personal challenge to myself. I had been working on a um, an automata called the electric chair for five months and was getting a little bit bored, a little bit tired with it, and I reached a good stopping point and decided to challenge myself to a two-week build. And so after thinking about it, um, for a couple of days deciding what I would do. On the 18th of March, 2020, I started building Surfer Number 1 and finished it on the 2nd of April, 2020. I met my two-week goal. This uh, Surfer Number 1 has four motions to it. Motion number one is the handle, and then three support points. The way that I've built this, none of the motions are directly related to another. For example, if I turn this handle one time, something specific doesn't happen every time I turn this handle one time. All four timings are not related to each other in terms of they're not directly related and the resultant is a total is total random motion of the surfboard the surfer is basswood with poplar arms the surfboard is myrtlewood from oregon the skeg on the surfboard is pistachio. And then here and below, this is the drive frame, there is either poplar or a lot of Baltic birch plywood. And then a few other things in there. Poly uh, belting is what provides the drive. It's really quiet and smooth. There's ball bearings in there, stainless steel shafting. His head's on a spring. His feet are connected with a magnet that enables him to swivel on the surfboard. His feet move on the surfboard. No motor, too bad. I wish I'd had a motor available when I built this. I won't build another one without a motor. These things want to be turned on and left on and watched for an hour or two. Um, for example, a cocktail party, this sitting on a table, uh, running quietly, surfing, would be a nice little conversation piece and a pleasant thing, a pleasant thing to be there. This automata is about 20 inches high, 18 inches long, 8 inches deep, and weighs about 3.5 pounds. And I like the way it turned out. I like this automata. So this is surfer number one. Surfer number one will not be sold. All the number ones belong to my wife. But if you wanted a surfer number two or number three, I would be happy to build one for you. It will be slightly different. It will be better than this one. For example, it will have a motor in it. And I'll take a little more time. The detailing will be better. Um, the whole thing will be a bit better because that's what happens every time you build something like this. Each one gets better than the last. 
So if you'd like a surfer built for you by me, contact me. I'd love to, I'd love to talk with you. I'd love to build one for you. Building automata is what I do. I love to do it. So during these COVID-19 times, I say to you, stay healthy. And I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.